Hello. Day two. Okay, so what we're hoping to see is a bit of a driveway. So they said they're gonna be here at seven in the morning. It is almost supper time. We wanted to wait just to make sure that they, you know, if they're gonna do a lot of work today that a lot of stuff would get done. So we're hoping to drive down our road, get to the bottom and see some sort of driveway, hopefully, but I have no idea. Who knows what happens? <laughs> we're gonna all find out together. Definitely has gotten driven on a few times. It's Good. really pack it down. Get it packed. Oh, I read it. Oh, oh, I see some dirt move. Oh, oh, look at that. oh, they didn't do the angle. Oh, Weird. A little bit, but that's okay. Wow, that's strange. Interesting. They're definitely done for the day. I thought, oh, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be steep though. Yeah, still a little steep, eh? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's pretty hard to hold the camera. Holy, too. look at how much dirt they've moved. Oh, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. <laughs> Unless they're still going to do it, but this is like the path to go up and down. Yeah. It's like right there, look. But holy, they sure moved a lot of dirt, didn't they? Did they put those stakes there? No, no, no they're still our, there. They're our stakes, yeah. Oh. Weird. So he's still got a, he basically worked a lot on the driveway because he's got to take this entire area down to that level, so down to that stake. So. It's hard to see, you gotta turn the Jeep, yeah, so. otherwise the windshield. Oh. Okay, yeah, so it's yeah. quite a yeah. good, what, yeah. four feet? Yeah, probably. So that's a lot of material to move, so. But that's cool, the driveway's there. It's still a little steep, a little spicy, but <laughs> great for us and great for any normal vehicles, but just concrete trucks and delivery trucks are gonna probably hate life, so. We'll see, uh, talk to them and see if they got any other plans to maybe cut a little bit of the top down to kind of chill it out but if that's what it is that's what it is and we're gonna have to make it work we we'll have a bulldozer out here full time pull people up i don't know <laughs> okay let's do a little drone flying action see what it looks like from the air today so uh, we got a reshaped driveway uh, it was a little bit of miscommunication between uh, uh, the guy that was doing the dirt work and the dozer operator so um, originally we thought it was gonna kind of do a bit of a curve to lessen the angle and then when we got out here it was straight almost straight up the hill so so they reshaped that and today already they started the footings so we got concrete trucks here so they're already up on top of the hill, so we know the driveway works. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, what a terrible... Hey, that's on the video. <laughs> <laughs> what a time to meet the concrete truck. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, a concrete truck on our little road, didn't get stuck. Got up the hill, didn't get stuck. So man, things are like turning up bases. I can bleep that word out, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> But what a time to meet the concrete truck, eh? Holy. On the in on the fly? Yeah. So we tried to get out here. We had to go to Saskatoon real quick. We tried to get out here so we could show the truck coming up the hill, but we'll have to obviously there's gonna be a lot more trucks coming in the future. So we'll show Where'd that later. Come? Yeah, he's just going slow. Concrete trucks here are slow. Here he comes. <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> Is that what a concrete truck's horn sounds like? <laughs> me, me. Yeah, Ooh, I think so. Raiders. Oh, yeah, that's cool. They did a full wrap on that drum, man. Go Raiders! Maybe that was the one from the first load. Maybe the second load's not here. Maybe, maybe. Lucky, I doubt, maybe? I doubt it. No? Oh, okay. But anyway, so it's all, so far, all pretty good news. Because um, we, we were a little worried about everything, right? The road, the driveway, everything we were worried about. And so. this morning, it was really overcast, and we came here yeah. to put stakes in the ground, and we're like, oh, goodness, it's going to rain. Check out that new driveway. Cool. Smooth. 
chill. It way is more definitely going to get packed down after a million concrete yeah, trucks no and, and trucks loaded with heavy loads. Oh my goodness. Oh well. So it's way more chill going kind of on, on a bit of It's better. Oh, there's good, still another yeah? truck up here. That's is good, yeah? Oh, good. Oh, Mintos. Oh, oh look at Mintos. look at the little piles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Awesome. The little piles, like there's only seventy of them. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of them. <laughs> You're gonna miss it if you blink. So yeah, and another thing we were worried about is uh, being that it's mostly sand, we were worried about if we had to switch to screw piles because the hole's not being stable enough to support a, a concrete pile, but obviously it's been really good. There's just enough clay in the sand where obviously the holes are holding really well. So that's freaking more good news. Like it's just, it's good on top of good. It was windier than freaking like insane this morning. It's calmed down a bit. It's a little windy, so hopefully it's not too, too cruddy, but let's go get a little bit of video of them filling up the holes here. Howdy! Hey. How's it going? Howdy. Good, good. Woo! That is freaking awesome. Yeah, so there is a ton of piles. So here is the back of the shop. This row of piles here is at the very back. And then kind of up where Mrs. Austin is would be the front, obviously, duh, but. <laughs> so it's gonna be pretty interesting. At least you can kind of see the shape of the building now. Man, that is freaking cool. You realized or I told you? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so uh, the top of this not being perfectly level, right? Um, you, uh, that's what you got the laser level for. And uh, you bring everything up to the exact grade it needs to be. So this is freaking exciting, man. Jay Fairs in the Bobcat there. He's the owner of Titan Construction. They're doing all the concrete work for us using B&B &B concrete right out of Prince Albert. So I imagine this stuff is just being like butter to drill through, being kind of sandy clay, no rocks. I did ask and he said it was really good and it's 15 feet down that they're digging. Oh, nice. Good, good. I was going to ask that. So yeah, 15 foot piles and really easy. Really, yeah, <laughs> totally. Hopefully it's not too windy and this isn't just yeah. but uh, that's, that's what's going to be nice about having that covered and patio. Yeah, yeah. It's be, windy up here. Well, it's kind of windy everywhere though. It's a pretty windy day. Yeah. It's not even too bad. I thought it'd be way worse up here. Don't touch that. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, exciting stuff, you man. What? Look at that over there. What? That, that piece of uh, roof? Yeah. I'm gonna run over that shirt. <laughs> You're gonna try to jump the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Get air. <laughs> yeah. Well, really, it's not bad. This morning we came here. It was so overcast. It looked like it was gonna rain, and now basically it cleared right up, and it's just a little breezy. Yeah, that's all for, you know, exactly where the pile's got to go, I bet. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I bet you everyone he drills just like that. I didn't, didn't count, but... Yeah. So yeah, every single pin is where he's got to put a pile. And like pretty much exact. Yeah, super cool. And then uh, uses his uh, his helper here to get it nice and uh, straight up and down, nice and level. Pretty sandy. 
Yeah, really nice drilling. So it's almost good to do it right now because there's probably a bit of moisture in the ground with help, which helps it stay together. I wonder what the well is going to be like. That'll be yeah, totally. Thing, right? Going down deep, yeah. Yeah, like 200 feet, that's yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Like he might not have to go that far. Woo! Yeah, it'd be very interesting. All right, this is the end of the first day of concrete work by Titan Construction. So he's got almost all the piles done. So now you start to get a bit of an idea of some dimensions, which is really cool. So this is kind of the side patio. And then here's the living quarters in the middle. And then over there is the attached garage. And then right behind the living quarters is the shop. So it's about 50 by 75, the shop. So it's really, really cool to get kind of get some dimensions where you can kind of see in person. Really awesome. The ground I think was really, really easy to work with, really easy to drill in, not rocky or stony, kind of sand mixed with clay, really good. So we really lucked out there. So it's crazy the amount of work, <laughs> the amount of earth that got moved to make a nice driveway basically. So all these piles will be smoothed out kind of after construction. Some of that black dirt will be redistributed so we can kind of get grass back in front of our place. Mrs. Oss got a couple cool plans for her on the driveway, adding some trees and stuff. So all in all, that'll look really cool, but that'll probably be in the next year, you know. This year we'll be concentrating just on the building, basically. Building and then some concrete aprons on the, on the front and on the rear. And then we'll have to build a really nice road going around the shop this way because that's how you'll get to the back of the shop where the three big garage doors are in the back of the shop. One, two, three. It's like a 10 by 10, 16 by 16, and a 10 by 10, I think. Can't remember, unless we did a little bit bigger 12s maybe. I can't remember exactly. We did nine by 10s on the front of the attached garage, so 10 feet wide, so the dually will be okay with its mirrors out. <laughs> nine foot door, you have about an inch on each side, so with the mirrors out so all in all super cool awesome they got a lot of work done today it was looking like i said pretty bleak this morning our driveway was untested for the concrete trucks our little road was untested so things could have went really really south you know people could have been getting stuck the hill could have been too much for them but everything worked out really really awesome so happy it's a really cool little driveway we got going on here you can kind of get a good view here it's way more tame than going straight up kind of where the cat was. So really, really nice, real nice. Just think coming in a hundred miles an hour with the X3 and a big jump up here. <laughs> oh my God, guys, we're gonna have so much fun with this property, isn't even funny. Right freaking on. Okay, so that's a wrap on day one, the first day of concrete. Tomorrow, we'll be finishing the piles and then putting forms up for the great beams or the footings. So we'll get some more video and pictures for you guys of that tomorrow. Hey guys, day three of uh, basically the pile and forms type construction. They got a really a lot done today. Here's the inside and outside form on with all the ties to keep the rebar straight. Doesn't that look good? This really, really gives you a really accurate, obviously, um, visual representation of how everything's gonna look. Now you can finally kind of see where the walls are. So here's the shop. This is the attached garage on the side. And then here's the living quarters up front here. There's a little jut out there for fireplace chase. Front door will be here somewhere. Um, this will be right here, a door coming from the shop. This will be kind of our main entrance. You'll come in the garage doors there park and then come in here and then there's a couple different doors that that go into the into the living quarters and then over here is the covered patio with another fireplace chase there so we have an outdoor fireplace so really freaking really cool man it's so freaking exciting it's such a junk day over here so freaking cold and windy it isn't funny <laughs> but I just had to get a little bit of video because this is awesome and I just wanted to get video basically you know step by step because it's very very interesting stuff 
Um, we're going to try to make it out tomorrow as Jay's kind of finishing up the forms. And if he wants to kind of explain, go into any more detail about about how all the rebar, it's really, really cool how these ties. So basically you tie wire the rebar to these, keeps them set so nothing moves when you're pouring concrete. Everything's always in, in the proper place. And then you got styrofoam at the bottom of the forms. So really, really cool stuff. Yeah, just a quick little video of a little bit more of the update. I might try to throw the drone up and get a couple pictures from up top. Hopefully it doesn't blow away. <laughs> All right, everything looks really great, but there's just one more thing we need to add here. Oh, just to make sure the build goes nice and smooth. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's just gonna ensure everything just goes super extra great. All right, let's get the heck out of here before we get freaking poured on. <sighs> oh man, that was good timing. We just showed up and the first concrete truck's here to start pouring the footings today. Get to watch them come up this hill. Pretty much just coasted up it, pretty easy. <laughs> we got the big concrete pumper boom out. It's gonna be pretty freaking awesome, man. Let's get up there. So basically how a pumper truck works, the concrete truck just dumps this concrete into the hopper and then this thing is able to pump concrete all the way through that boom. So basically they can move that boom all the way around all the forms and fill up the forms so much easier than trying to use a concrete trunk truck to dump into the forms. That'd be a freaking nightmare. So really super cool. Does that say swing? Swing. <laughs> And that's where all the, we'll be driving into the shop and stuff at the back there, so that'll be nice. Yeah. I think we got enough room. We'll probably do the driveway mostly on this side. We got more room on this side than yeah. the other side. Sweet! Yeah, and then this is your patio here. So um, it doesn't give a lot of detail on it. So what we're gonna do, uh, it does show that your brick, like your, your patio is supposed to be down the wall. Yeah. So we'll, we'll finish this nice and put hands on it because this is gonna be exposed. So we'll finish it nice solid. All right, boys. Here is the first bit of concrete into the forms. Miss Oscars, she's danger close. She's gonna get concrete sprayed. What did people used to do before pumper trucks, eh? 
I think she got, I think she got splashed already. But anyways, yeah, this is the start. Thank God the rain has held off. It is supposed to pour for the next three or four days. So talk about getting lucky with the weather. That is freaking awesome. All right, we're gonna throw the drone up. Mrs. Austin can get some video from there. We'll throw the drone up, get some cool drone shots. Jay, how many times would a form get reused before you trash it and buy new ones or make new ones? You might get a half a dozen forms. Oh well. Something like that. These ones here kind of got beat up on the last drop. So oh yeah. Little, half of them will get cycled out probably this time. Oh yeah. yeah. Interesting, interesting. I asked the strangest questions, right? It's okay. <laughs> That's all right. What do I need to know that for? I don't. That's why they make shows called How Is That Made? That's right. Great. For little, for crazy people like me that need to know everything. Or, wrong word, intrigued. <laughs> so would you say that this is perfect uh, conditions for pouring? It is, it's yes. beautiful weather today. Yeah. It's ideal. Not too sunny. I guess not if it was- Not too sunny, not too hot, it's not raining, it's not windy. It's excellent. Yes. That was pretty awesome. So they're basically almost uh, finished pouring uh, the concrete for the footings today. It was awesome watching the pumper truck and stuff and awesome watching Jay. It was really, really nice of them because Mrs. Asta, it's your fault, uh, she made a couple changes on a couple doors and Jay already had them kind of, uh, the blocks in um, and the rebar, everything set. So he had to take that out, cut the rebar back because we're going with a little bit wider patio door than we originally had in the plan and thought we only had to notify the framer, but no, it's right into the concrete. So thank you very much, Jay, for doing that last minute change for us. M Mrs. Asta, thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty cool. So he'll get that done today and then it sets for a while. Then they'll strip off the forms and then I think we are going to come back and we're going to put rigid uh, styrofoam insulation on the outside of the of the footings and then they can backfill and then framing starts. So it's freaking exciting. Another little step done. Really awesome. And we did bring a little treat. But yes. My, but Mr. <laughs> Ostercruiser here decided he needed to have some too. So <laughs> You can't bring those for everyone and not have one for yourself. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys for coming along the journey. Uh, we're trying to do our best to bring you guys along with each step of the build process. We're really excited. Thank you all for watching and see you next video. <laughs>